Hey y'all, it's Bailey and welcome back to my channel. So today we have an Ulta haul for you guys. I did a little impromptu makeup shopping. It was just, it was raining outside. I was stuck in the store. What else was a girl supposed to do? And I got a lot of stuff that the person fit into the tiniest of bags. But hopefully I got a lot of good stuff. It's mostly drugstore and then one high-end item. So, and it's all makeup right no skincare just makeup so just makeup today so um if you like these hauls let me know and we'll get into it okay so let's first start with flower beauty because this ulta that i was at actually had a good selection of their stuff the ulta closest to me i mean it's like an okay selection but it's not as extensive as the other ulta i know we have so many ultas in town it's a blessing and they were having a sale buy two get one free so i bought three things first thing is their light illusion foundation and i've been wanting to try this out for seriously probably like a year now and the foundation says it's supposed to be luminous makeup with a nude skin feel all day wear spf 18 which is whatever and i got the shade warm beige which is l4 and hopefully it matches i think it will the foundation i'm wearing today is a little dark we'll get to that but i picked this up so i'm super excited about that and then i picked up one of their blush bombs which is i don't know everybody's like raving about these it is a color drop for your cheeks so it's a cream blush right or is it a gel i don't know it says silky lightweight texture with radiant finish this one's in the shade beat b2 pinched they had maybe like five shades let's just open it up and see if you like it they had like a bright coral a bright pink more of like a cinnamony color and maybe more of like a pinky pink but i went with the more nudie peachy color can you please open thank you but seriously everybody's raving about this so let's just take a look okay yeah that's pretty i really like the texture it's kind of similar to the glossier cloud paints but i don't know i mean they're actually really similar and this is what the color looks like it's definitely very light so hopefully it'll show up i mean i think it'll be fine so i'm excited to try that out and then the final flower beauty thing that i picked up is their warrior princess mascara i'm actually gonna be using this this week in my makeup bag monday so if you want to see what i think of it check back to my channel next monday but this is supposed to give you plush volume and thickness it says it has a royal hourglass brush like the better than sex does um it is in the shade royal black which is one coveted shade rich and hyper pigmented sets a new standard in darkness which i guess they only have one color cool it's supposed to be really black and then it's supposed to give you the princess effect the softest band out volume meets lush thick lashes it's the pumped up punk royal look nothing says bailey like punk this is gonna be good um but really it might be great i don't know so we will be testing this out shortly but yeah, I have high hopes. And then, because a girl can't have enough mascara, I decided to pick up the ColourPop mascara. This is just their volumizing mascara in the shade Black. I didn't know that they sold these in stores, but they did. Part of me wishes I would have had another color because, like, that would be cool. But then, like, when do I ever wear colored mascara? Never. So, pick this up, and I'm excited about it because ColourPop seems to do good. Their packaging's really, really cute. I don't know what the wand looks like, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it, even though I'm not supposed to. Oh, it's also an hourglass wand. Hmm. I will say I like the look of this brush. The bristles are pretty fine, and nothing's, like, clumpy, so... Could be good stuff, y'all. Could be good. Okay, the next two things I picked up are both from Catrice. And the first one is actually what I'm wearing on my face right now. And it is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. It is supposed to be mattifying and it's supposed to give you a second skin effect. And I don't know, you're probably thinking, Bailey, you hate mattifying foundations. What are you doing? And to that I say, I saw Bailey Sarian talk about this and it looked really good on her and she said she has more normal to dry skin like me and she really liked it so I bought it. And we have like the same name. Like even my last name is super similar to hers so I mean if she likes it I'll probably like it. And I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I'll be honest. So I used it today and first of all, I don't think the color is quite right. It's doing that thing where it dries a little bit peachy and you know, the line of demarcation on some people that have like really peachy foundation than like normal skin tone and it's like, bam. 
it was kind of giving me that. So that's no good. I got the shade Sand Beige in case you were wondering. And I mean, out of the tube, like it looks like it's my shade. So it definitely oxidized. Um, and the finish, it's definitely matte, but it doesn't feel like a cakey matte, which is nice. But it was doing that thing where it was like pilling on my skin to the point where if I just like did this, it was kind of like dandruff, just like flying everywhere. My skin sounds super dry right now. So that was kind of unfortunate. But since putting on the other powders and stuff and then setting it down with a lot of setting spray, um, I definitely think it's better. But I'm not totally sold on it yet. Like I wouldn't want to go out in public looking like this. Mostly because of the color, though. Um, so we'll see. Maybe it'll look amazing on camera. And then the other thing I got is truly because it says magic on the uh, box or on the packaging. And it's also from Catrice. And it is their one minute face perfecter. And it's supposed to have a magic finish effect. What does that mean? I have no idea. But I can't wait to find out. I got the shade one. One fits all. And it says it's a moussey face perfecter that ensures flawless, mattified, ooh, okay, um, complexion and natural makeup finish. Makes pores visibly disappear. And then the color adapts to any skin tone. Use as makeup or a primer. Let me show you the color of this. We'll see. Okay, and the final thing that I picked up from Ulta is this Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Color. I am so excited about this. And here's the story of why I purchased this. So one of my friends here on the YouTubes, April, aka Wanna Make Up, she was talking on Snapchat about how she went to Sephora and one of the associates, her name was Olga, apparently. Olga is from somewhere in Europe, so she has a thick accent. She was just giving April like a little makeover and apparently she uh, didn't like April's brows. And so what does Olga do? She just does it herself. So she ended up using this this brow pencil which I'm struggling to open up I'm trying to get it out of the package but she used this brow pencil to make April's brows look like Kardashian brows and make them look expensive and I just was cracking up at the story and I was like I want to have expensive brows apparently Olga was just talking about how she wants to look expensive I'm like me too Olga me too so I ended up buying this I got the shade dark because like dark and it is like a little felt tip and last time we used the felt tip brow pencil I was literally in high school and it wasn't pretty so we'll see how this goes but it just it makes me laugh so I bought it and now let's just do a little swatch and see what this looks like oh okay yeah okay you can you can't see it I'm so sorry but you know looking here you can get a nice little fine line and it's not too dark, not too light, so I think the color is good. It looks like the brush is like a, an actual brush tip, not a felt tip, so that's nice. So who knows, this might be amazing. Next time you see me, let me know if you think my brows look expensive. And with that, that's all the stuff I picked up from Ulta. Don't know why I felt like I needed to throw the bag and show you guys, but it's empty. Why did I do it again? Nobody knows. But that's everything I picked up. I'm definitely going to be playing with this stuff for the next couple weeks and I'll do a update to let you guys know what works and what didn't. If you've used any of these products, let me know what you think of them in the comments down below. And if you want to see a specific review over anything, let me know. Maybe the foundations or the mascara. Or I saw that Urban Decay's new Naked Skin Foundation finally released at Ulta literally the day after I went story of my life so if you want to see a review on that let me know um but yeah that is everything for today's video and i will see you guys next time